Hello, welcome back to Kristen Cooks. Um, I was inspired to do this um, recipe, um, Nostalgic Supper Salisbury Steak, because I made a chicken pot pie earlier in the week, and it kind of got me to thinking about these TV dinners that I used to have as a child, and Salisbury Steak was one of them. You know, they came in those um, tin trays, or those aluminum trays, with the tin foil tops and you put in the oven forever, you know, like back in the 80s. <laughs> um, so I just kind of wanted to revisit this recipe and see how it turns out. And it was really good. So I started with one pound of lean ground beef and then I have a quarter cup of breadcrumbs in there, um, two tablespoons of tomato paste, um, some ground mustard right there, and then a half a teaspoon of onion powder. Oh, and it was uh, one teaspoon of ground mustard, by the way. And then some ground black pepper. Oh, there's the onion powder right there. Sorry about that, went out of order a little bit. So after this, then I'm just gonna um, mush it all together. I'm just adding in the pepper here. Um, yeah, there was a, it was frozen earlier and there's a little frozen piece in here. That's why I'm like struggling with right there. It's still a little bit frozen, but we got it together. We got it together. Okay, so now that I have it all mixed together like that, then it's time to form the patties. And I'm just trying to form them into an oblong um, flat they're supposed to be like a quarter of an inch thick, I believe, um, patties, which I somewhat achieved here. Go Kristen, look at her go. Okay, now it's time to snappily, quickly dice, get those veggies all prepped up and ready to go after we cook off the patties. So I have my handy dandy chopper here that I got for Christmas. Thank you, fam, <laughs> so wonderful. No, I love it. It worked really great. Um, it was a little bit tricky doing the mushrooms in here, but because they kind of stuck a lot to the little blades, but we made it work. All the veggies were uniform size and they all cooked at the same time. It was great. So I'm just going through the process here, cleaning off the mushrooms. Looking back, probably should have cut those suckers in half first, but whatever. I'll do it next time, okay? <laughs> So just getting everything together. Yep. So I'll be back in a minute. Time to uh, cook those patties, brown those patties. So I'm putting about a, a healthy tablespoon of avocado oil into my um, skillet here. Then I'm going to um, place each patty into the hot pan, let them cook for about two minutes. You'll notice they are going to stick a little bit. I was kind of surprised, but hey, it's gonna all be smothered in gravy anyway, so you won't even notice that. Um, so I flip it over and it'll cook for another, probably two more minutes, I suppose. I didn't wanna like cook these to death, so um, I just went two minutes on each side and it was fine. Cause you're gonna put them back in the gravy anyway and they're gonna get, cook a little bit more. So. After I have the patties um, on the pan there, staying warm at the back of the stove, and I'm cooking off my veggies now. Here's the onion, the garlic, the mushroom, and salting and peppering. Actually, the mushrooms are not in here yet, but I'm just softening up the onion first. Okay, here we go. Now here's the mushroom, and um, I wanted to let these um, soften up. I have it on like medium low heat here because by now the pan is pretty darn hot and I didn't want to um, burn, start burning the garlic in there so I just turned it down to medium low and it was fine. Uh, sprinkling in some thyme and some garlic powder that goes really well with the mushrooms and uh, seasoned salt. Just a little bit, Kristen. Don't go crazy. Okay, and then um, pepper. And then um, there's all these nice, wonderful 
delicious bits on the bottom of the pan from the, the meat and the veggies. And I couldn't resist. I had to pull out the white wine and deglaze the pan a little bit here, Pinot Grigio. And I like to cook with this wine. It's, it's a good, not necessarily this brand. I don't even know what it is, but they discontinued the brand that I really like at the store. So um, I just kind of roll the dice and pick uh, different brands each time. You know, it's always fun. So then I add in a, a very healthy tablespoon of butter because um, I'm going to be sprinkling in some flour very quickly here. And this is gonna, I'm gonna start uh, building up my gravy. So I'm gonna sprinkle this in into the veggies and let it cook down for a little bit. And um, you know, fun fact about Salisbury steak while we're letting all this happen, uh, it originated in the U.S. Uh, it was invented by James Salisbury. He was a, ge a germ theory um, pioneer, and he invented the Salisbury steak to combat illness among Civil War troops, um, you know, way back then. And it was best known in our time as staple TV dinners, right? and you know something you'd see on like a bargain buffet but it was actually it really did have a purpose it was to uh cure for digestive illness during the civil war so fun fact about that you know there's actually a purpose behind this so um so yeah i put in about three cups of beef broth and um yeah just made the gravy and then i'm putting the patties back in the pan as you're seeing here so like, as you notice, I mean, you don't even notice that they stuck to the pan a little bit and they're not the prettiest thing. This isn't the prettiest meal, but it's really, it's good. If you like Salisbury steak, I really recommend you try this recipe and I will definitely link the recipe in the description box. Um, one of the sides I made with this dinner was mashed potatoes. So I am just going to chop up these potatoes into chunks, get them into cold water, get them onto the stove and um, mash them up. And actually I did these sides before I did the meat. I just didn't want to start the video with the sides. I wanted to start the video with the star of the show here. So um, yeah, actually I did these in the beginning. So not that you really need to know that, but anyway. So just gonna mash them up after I've drained them off here. And I always add in uh, a healthy tablespoon of butter, some sour cream, um, and salt and pepper. And then this here is spaghetti squash. Um, this is pretty comical right here because this is me overthinking dinner yet again. I could have just made one spaghetti squash for the four of us, okay? I have a family of four, that's it. I'm not feeding two families here, but <laughs> somehow in my head, it's it always just ends up calculating like that. I don't know why, but I made way too much. Um, we did not eat all of this, of course, but I can just freeze the leftovers and apparently it freezes great. So we'll see. Um, so I, after I cut them in half, now I am just oiling them up with some canola oil and I'm gonna put on some garlic salt and pepper and this is gonna go into a 450 degree oven for about uh, 35 to 40 minutes. Yeah. Okay, and then after it comes out, then you shred up the squash with a fork 
and it um, forms like spaghetti shreds, as you can see. So, you know. Um, so this is my daughter's recipe. She did this for um, one of her classes at school. Um, they grew these squashes at school and then their assignment was they had to um, get a recipe and make it and take a picture of it and all that. So anyway, here it is. Take a picture. It'll last longer. <laughs> a little 50 slang there. Um, it was really good. Just try it. You know, it's it'll take you back. Bye.